Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, uh, the Star Wars mod. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, we're getting some urban development, we're gonna get some rural development. After that, I'm not too sure where we're wanting to necessarily go. The experimental rockets, I'm not wrong, it is this tech. So we have 1943 tech for free. Oh no, your concussion missiles. Range 40,000 kilometers. Okay. These are, are these new? Yes, because it's 158 day years ahead of time. So basically there's no way the AI could actually ever research this. Strategic bombing 1.2. Seems pretty strong to me. Um, so we'll go for rural development. We probably want to do direct control because I want to make sure that um, parking over here does remain in control. The Chinese United Front is getting a little bit stronger. They're worried about what the Japanese are going to do. And that's understandable because they're about to do the Marco Polo Bridge incident. So war in that region is about to break out. Is 1937. You... Might as well get construct. Uh, you know, get excavation a one. For now, we'll also start building up some bombers. We just need like a lot of factories for everything. Like if I was to in my imperial regiments add support artillery, how much is it? Twelve points for artillery per um. Organization goes down a little bit, but I think the defense goes up enough that it's still worthwhile. Yeah, and we had just enough artillery to actually use them in all of our troops, so we should be good to go still. The British and the French, understandably, are not too happy with my whole Galactic Empire thing going on. More people are doing stuff. Don't care about Amelia Earhart for obvious reasons. We got 10 more days. So deck control is 100 political power. Your 5% stability. Self-sustaining city is 10%. I mean, stability would be nice, but I don't think we can do... Um... Yeah, we're going to go straight up to large industry, I think. Like, look how many factories we're getting out of this. A lot of manpower. But I do want to go for this steam war machine. On the surface, the empire is a utopia. I'm trying to read. I'm just trying to see, like... Um, basically we'd be like a utopia. What are you? I mean, more support and stability is nice. They got some purges, some elections going on. Japan's going to war on China. That's fine. I mean, the quiet debate, the question basically is, do I want a small, strong empire or one that can actually train a lot of troops? We do eventually get a large industry here. But I assume probably something here gives us like a massive. Senate. Not too sure. More recruit population would be nice.
more recruit population. Now, I think I just want more guns. Give me the um, uh, political power here. The United States has become neutral. That is a okay. I mean, again, I, I don't really care who um, wins here or not. Like, would Italy join my faction? No. We're not at war. And they're a major nation, so they think that they're better than us. Well, I can tell you this, Mr. Mussolini. You are no better than I am. I mean, that's, you're significantly worse, because I am uh, Tarkin and Darth Vader. So I, I feel like I'm a little bit cooler. I have, a, I have a light sword. A sword made out of light. The lightsaber. As it's more normal. That's more commonly called, I will admit. I'm surprised the... Or the Bandits of the War hasn't ended yet. I feel like they've been doing pretty well. Just need manpower. Do you have enough manpower for yourself? We'll just go up to two of these for now. Like, do you get your manpower? Yes, you're just missing rifles and stuff. Again, I'm trying to build stuff as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, focus on industry. And I don't believe these guys have autonomy. Yeah, if anything, it's, it's actually falling. So eventually, I think we'll actually just annex these regions into us directly, which would be nice. We need to go for rapid industrialization. And that seems pretty good. Yeah, and then get just more factories. Rapid industrialization, let's go. So you're still ahead of time. The anti-tank and the anti-air stuff... I don't think it's necessary at this exact moment. But yet, I also don't really know what to actually research. Maintenance companies. You know what? Let's go to school for uh, scout troopers. We'll add them into some of our armies as well. Um, we do have some Imperial bombers, though. So we'll start to deploy them. We do not have the manpower to do so. Well, you know, I mean, we do need manpower. It's already too late. Like, I've already bypassed self-sustaining city. We're, we're not... Any of this whole democracy garbage, not happening. Yeah, let's do some terraforming. Seems good to me. Again, I don't have manpower to do anything, so... Region-wide infrastructure. I mean, 30 political power for all those does seem like a pretty good deal. So we'll definitely do it. So after 135 days, we will be able to do an industrial buildup. Which gives us another 8 civilian factories. I do want to just kind of... Like, how many factories do you guys have? You have one, three, one, one. So not a, like, not a ton. Yeah, so it looks like after about a year and a half, we should be able to annex our two little puppet states we have. Which is lovely. I don't know how much political power it actually costs to annex you. It'll be almost like... It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of political power to actually uh, do some annexations. But I do want to do it at some point, obviously. Iran. Iran, Iran, Iran. It's still take too long to actually get anything done here, though, which is a bit of a shame. Currently, we do not allow the export of any Imperial resources. Um...
two like two synthetic refineries, I think is kind of just garbage. Going for uh, five military factories seems a million times better. So I almost feel like by the time World War One or World War Two, I should say, actually begins, we're going to be in a very good situation. Let's also go for uh, excavation two. Right now, I believe is also going to be worthwhile. We're making 15 rifles a day. Our cap is still, like, basically maxed out. Um, which is lovely. I wish the growth could be a little bit better. We're getting two from trade? Who's trading with us? Maybe our little satellite states. That's the best I got. Range 2,000 kilometers, air defense 30. I still can't really tell if you transport or not. I mean, I know that you are the transports from the Star Wars universe. But I don't know if you actually work the way I think you do. And I'm already, like, kind of out of, um... Initiative. Let's go for medical services. Because, honestly, I'm really, like, not even too sure what I should be, uh, researching right now. Because most of the stuff, we still have about a year until it's actually within date. Actually, that's not true. It's actually almost 1938, uh, 8, so we could have probably focused on doing something else here. Yeah, because you're not really ahead of time anymore, but you're still extremely expensive. Yeah, like, next level of speeders don't get available until 1940. Um, next level of, I mean, we could get better tanks as well. You're still mostly hot garbage. You both been saying about 300 manpower. That's because I deployed the um, I put the artillery troops in them, right? Like, are we at our maximum? We are because we have total mobilization. I think going down the war economy is completely fine. Um, like, I generally don't have a problem with that. War industry is finished. But is it worth to keep going down this tree right now, at this very moment? 50% resource gain efficiency would be nice. I mean, that's more than the technologies are, I believe. Attack and defense on core territory, I always think is just kind of bad. The war support and stability would be nice. It'll make our factories a lot more productive. I mean, when, when is this done? In 40 days. So we can get one of these for free now. So might as well go for the ex uh, resource extraction. Because you're only 10%, right? Yeah. So that's a little bit better than one extra level of excavation. So we can essentially skip excavation 3, I believe, at this point. Okay, so what are we missing out the most? 1,500 days for you, 200 days for you. So mostly looks like the armor transports. Uh, so put three into you, two into this one, and then one more into speeders. Um, after that... Put one more into bombers as well. I mean, we're doing, like, 40 factories, I think, is pretty good. Like, we might already be beating out some major countries. I might be wrong. We're probably not beating out any major countries. We're beating... We're about as industrialized as Canada is at this point. Okay. 
or still about half of that of Japan or Germany. Maybe Italy we're about even with. No, we're still about even half that with Italy, which is disappointing. That's a real shame. But once we have political power back, we definitely want to go to war economy. I don't think the, the benefits of total mobilization are not really worth it, I think. Like, what's our current... Right now it's 10%, so we basically be doubling the amount of factories here, so it's going to go up to 6. But trading basically 3 civilian factories for 3% more manpower, I do think is worth it. Like, who are you? You just ran it, like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, they might just be troops from uh, from these guys. Yeah, no, they're both just uh, Iraqi troops. Probably from Darth Vader. He's probably training them for me. Okay, now we go for industrial buildup. Um, we have one more. Let's go for more... I'm pretty sure you're close air support. We probably do want to research... Um, air... Or, uh, fighters. We want another radar station. No, I don't think we need a new air base. Infrastructure, I think, still is looking pretty good. We can just build a factory... You know, we can build a factories in... Um, our puppet states here because again I believe we will eventually be annexing them. Are we building everything we can be? I believe we are building a little bit of everything so for right now we're gonna get even more close air support until I have my fighters researched in which case I'll switch over uh, some of the factories to go towards them. Oh, I can do both. Um, it, it does not look like... I mean, it should be grayed out, right? Yes. It might still work for us. So we could get both, even though I'm pretty sure the game is not... We're not supposed to be able to do both. But I... If we can, you know, cheese the game a little bit, I think that's okay. We'll get some night vision one. What does that actually do for us? Because normally it's, um... Land I attack is beautiful to be getting it'll be able to get that in 1938 as opposed to like 1944. Probably is gonna be a big uh, game changer here. Let's train up one of every single type of troop for now. Yeah, you don't give us more more factories right now. I don't think I want to begin exporting resources. And also, I don't even know if we need another solar filling factories right now. Because we can go all the way up to half funk. We can get up to... Um... Into here. Everything in this area is now available to us. So let us begin some hull repairs. This is going to take us down another 5%. So, you know, if we were to ch change back uh, to War Economy, it's actually only a 5% increase. I, I still don't know why I'm getting these troops from Iraq and Saudi Arabia. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it, but I'm pretty sure they're probably hard garbage in comparison to what everybody else has. Crash Sight Garrison. Are you Stormtroopers? You shouldn't be. No, I think you are Stormtroopers. Okay, so I believe you are... Yeah, so let's compare them. Soft attack for our troops are basically double this. Hard attack is not quite double. Air attack, you actually have some. Defense is almost three times more. Breakthrough is a hundred more. Piercing significant. I mean, you are smaller to be fair, so it's not really considered comparing apples to apples. 
But clearly, our troops are just better than theirs are going to be. Even at full strength, um, we were doing three times better. So, feeling pretty confident with what we have. Are you ahead of time? You are not ahead of time. Because it is 1938. That makes a lot of sense. But I do want interceptors. I want some anti-air units. But if you have 10 divisions, Saudi Arabia has one. Who I'm sure is probably hot garbage. Please have a play. Thank you. Do any of you give me... Um... Auxiliary systems. Another 5% for... Consumer Goods Factory is going down. Is there anything I can... I mean, I guess if I just do not do any focuses, I will get some points. We're actually starting to get a surplus now of stuff. We still need more armor transfer, so we'll put you guys up to 5 for now. Like, they're not even giving them to me in green. Like, for some reason, they're, they're not in experience. They're, like, 92% of the way there. It's a very strange um thing that's going on. We're going to get 10% more organization now, which I think is pretty good. Like, you, like, what is your organization, at least? Organization of 60. To be fair, our troops have 42. Which isn't very... Which is, like, pretty bad. We're up to 25% world tension. Like, Germany's getting quite strong. We got about a year until World War II begins. After that point, I'm not too sure exactly how everything is going to kind of go, to be honest. It's going to go more balls to the wall once World War II actually begins and everybody in Europe is fighting each other while me and my little empire just kind of hanging out, doing my own thing. In 19 days, fully repair the ship. We need to more than double the amount of factories we have. Barely more. We got, we got about double our total size. Okay, you guys are slowly still dripping away. About another year left. You know, all these troops that are kind of garbage. I'm just going to put them under a different general so I know who's awful and who's not. You guys will be in the north. Blue army, who's actually decent, is going to be hanging out in the south. So do something like this. Shrink your front line down to be a little bit more reasonable. You guys will try to push your way to, to uh, Tehran. Yeah, just keep on going now. We'll, we'll uh, partially repair the ship. That, I mean, I wonder if there's a point where everybody's just going to like declare war on us. Which is entirely possible. And soon we'll be able just to be able to build a, like, a shit ton of rockets. Oh, you're an actual troop. Okay, so we got our speeder divisions. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Like, how are you? What are your stats? Soft attack of 400 seems extremely good. Um, hard attack of 110. Yeah, who are you? You are. Air attack of 10, defense. Breakthrough of 728. Uh, ex excuse me? Like, what's, what's our tank do? Breakthrough of 262. Because they each provide 51 breakthrough. The speeders... Have 72 breakthrough. Holy shit, that is insanity. Uh, but I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my answer. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If not, enjoy, click the thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.